<laughs> oh, the water, the trees, the colors, the voice. Guys, I am back at it again with another Annie Gabrielli video. <laughs> And this time it is right. Last time I watched her video for Never Enough cover, the cover for Never Enough, and I was saying that it was a Moana song, and it was not. It was The Greatest Showman, so I made a mistake. But this time, guys, I got my Moana, my actual Moana song ready. It's called Saber Quam Su. Translates to Know Who I Am. But the English version of the song is called How Far I'll Go. So I don't know why it has different translations. So let me know which which one it is. Does Saber Quam Su mean Know Who I Am or does it mean How Far I'll Go? Because I want to know. Anyways, Annie Gabrielli is back at it again and I'm excited because now I actually gotta get to see the Moana cover that everyone has been telling me about. So before I get into this video, I would like to give a big shout out to the YouTube channel, No Style. No Style is a lifestyle and beauty channel. If you're into lifestyle and beauty channels, you should definitely check out her videos, show her some love, and subscribe to her channel. The link will be in my description box below. And if you haven't already guys, give this video a thumbs up for the algorithm so more people can see this video. <laughs> I'd be doing this. Okay, let's get this video on the road. Jeez. Wait. Guys, I'm sorry, before we even get started, can we just take a moment to appreciate how real Moana's hair looks? That hair look real! It looks like a freaking 24 inch bundle of goodness. <laughs> Ooh, her voice! And also guys, tell me they didn't pick Annie Gabrielli to be Moana based not only on her amazing voice, but on their looks. Low key, they kind of look alike, don't they? Because I remember someone else was saying it in my other video with the Annie Gabrielli um, Never Enough cover. Someone was saying that she looks like Moana and she really does. It's kind of scary. So I wonder if they also picked her based on her looks. I won't be surprised because they really look alike. Like look at them. Look at them. They look the same. Jeez. <laughs> Woo. Her voice is gorgeous. And speaking of gorgeous, I must have forgotten how pretty Moana looks. Like the whole cartoon in general, or animation, I should have said. <laughs> Not cartoon. Animation is so freaking gorgeous. Like, look at it. It's so pretty. I need to go watch this video again. I want to be there. <laughs> I know it's not real, but find a way to transport me into that animation goodness, damn it. Oh, the cute piggy. Oh, that voice. like look at in here and Annie was the perfect choice for this because you know what since I'm so used to hearing this exact song in English you'll think it'll be kind of jarring to me to hear in Portuguese but it's not because Annie did that shit correct <sighs> Sorry guys, I need to rewatch this movie again because I forgot how much I love this movie. This is taking me down memory lane and that pig is so cute! Oh my goodness. That hair though. And she was 14 when she sang the song, right? Sounds so good. Aww. Look at that hair! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Can we also talk about how low-key this song sounds better in Portuguese? Okay, anyways. <laughs> yes, girl, get it! Mm -hmm. 
do you hear that emotion in Annie Gabrielli's voice? Like, she was singing it like a badass when she needed to sing it like a badass. She was singing it with passion just now when she needed to sing it with passion. Like, she is going in with a song. That's one thing that I never really take in when I'm watching animations, is the voice actors and singers do such a good voice of conveying emotion. Like, that little part right there, like, let's watch it again. This part right here. Like, she's singing it with conviction. <laughs> Hold on. Yes! Do you hear that passion in her voice? It just sounds so good. Eddie Gabrielli, she was like 14. I think someone said she was like 14 or 15 or 13. I don't know. She was a, a young teenager when she made this recording. And yet, she knows how to convey such emotion in her voice. Like, not only is she a good singer, not only can she hit high notes and low notes, she knows how to convey emotion as well at such a young age who gave her the right <laughs> she did an amazing job so pretty yes go moana go annie <laughs> yes Orenga, ran, annie. <laughs> one thing i have to ask people that speak portuguese and english is the translation correct because right now the song is seeming so on point the song is flowing the way it flows in english so i always wondered when a song gets translated into a different language from english do they have to change up the lyrics at all so it fits better even if it's like translates to something that is similar do they have to change up the lyrics just so it fits better if you know anything about that and if you heard the english version of the song and the Portuguese version, and you're an English speaker and a Portuguese speaker, please let me know. Let me know. I always wonder. Yes! Run! Ah! The piggy wags too! Do you guys ever notice that in animations, when they're trying to make the viewers or audience like an animal, they always give it dog characteristics. Every single time, no matter if it's a pig or if it's a dragon, they always give it human characteristics and it always takes me out because kind of like... I guess everybody loves dogs, right? Dogs are like man's best friend. But you never really see them doing it for cats. How come they never act like cats? Yes, Moana, go explore the world! <laughs> so pretty! Andy Gabrielli did an amazing job with this. Hey, Andy killed it! Yes! Yes! Annie Gabrielli killed it! She killed that. She killed, she murdered it. <laughs> the thing that's so great about Annie Gabrielli's voice is that you don't get scared for her. You know how sometimes there are singers that, although they're really good singers, if you hear them singing live, you might get scared for them because you feel like they might their voice might crack in a minute or something. With Annie Gabrielli, I don't feel that way. I've not really heard her perform live, but just her voice just sounds so strong that it doesn't seem like it's even gonna crack or do anything. It just seems like it's so stable and so hard hidden. It's just so good. Yeah, she did amazing for this song because, and I knew she was gonna do good because after seeing her sing in Better by Now United and then her cover for Never Enough, of course she was gonna kill this performance. Like what? <laughs> of course she was. And she left me right because she killed it and she just has so much emotion in her voice like I love how she was able to capture the different emotions throughout that whole song and the different emotions that like Moana was feeling and it's just like oh she did an amazing job Anna Gabrielli she, she and she was young like what the hell it just blows my mind whenever I think about how young she was like 14 guys thank you for suggesting I watch this video because it got me in the mood to watch some Moana so you all know what I'm gonna be doing later on today with that being said guys we are about to take it back to our five-year-old selves and I have a question for you if you could choose to be the voice of any Disney princess or villain mm -hmm, <laughs> who would you pick I would pick Princess Tiana, for obvious reasons. Oh, oh, I would love to be Anton Facilier. Mm -hmm. He was the villain in The Princess and the Frog. I don't care if he's a man, that is my answer. <laughs> so let me know what yours is in the comment section below because I'm curious. Let the games begin. <laughs> but yes, 
Disney Gabrielli, she killed it. I'm gonna watch Moana tonight and let me know if you could be a Disney princess or a villain. Who would you be? And don't forget guys, if you watched this video all the way to the end and you haven't given this video a thumbs up, which is, what is you doing? Give it a thumbs up for the algorithm. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe for more content coming your way and hit that notification bell so you'll get notifications whenever I put up new content. Yes. And I'll see you back here next time. We should do this again sometime. <laughs>